Hey everybody, I'm Doug Keeling, and today we're going to take a look at animating layer styles in Photoshop, specifically using the global light setting. Alright, so I've got a document here that is just standard HD size, HD resolution, 1920 by 1080. So basically what I want to do is I want to pretend that there's sort of a light shining on this. So as time progresses, the light's going to move from this side to this side. And because of that, these little glares here, those need to travel to the other side of the text. And also these shadows or these kind of progressive strokes that are on there, they need to also shift position. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at how to do that on a more basic level and then we'll come back to this. Okay, so let's consider a quick example here. So I've got three squares on my canvas here. Each of them have drop shadows of various types. The yellow one has a stack of several drop shadows on it. The red one and the blue one both have just a single drop shadow, but they're slightly different, obviously. The first thing we need to do is actually create a video timeline. So if you don't have the timeline panel open already, just go up to Window, down to Timeline, and then that panel will pop up and just click create video timeline. Now there are some settings that you can tweak in terms of like, you know, frame rates, things like that, that are important, but I'm not going to go into any of that at this point. We're just going to click create video timeline. Once you have the video timeline, you can see that you've got all of your layers. And then you also have underneath all of those, instead of having layer styles like we have in our layers panel, we have animatable properties like position, opacity, style, and so forth. So basically what we're doing is what's called keyframe animation. So you'll take your insertion point here and you will click the stopwatch next to whatever style or whatever option, whatever property that you want to animate. So on the yellow one, I want to animate the style. So at the beginning, I just created one keyframe by clicking the stopwatch. I'm gonna go over to three seconds and I'm gonna click this little diamond right here and that will create a new keyframe. So that's telling Photoshop, hey, at this point, something needs to change. So I'm gonna go into my layer effects here for the yellow square, and I'm gonna change this angle from 135 to 45. Now, if I want that to apply to every single shadow, that means that I'm going to have to change that to 45 on each shadow. And now you can see that our shadow has shifted directions. And as the timeline goes on, our shadows move smoothly from one side to the other based on the angle that we inputted. Now that's great, but what if we want all of these to be animated at the exact same time? So this shadow should move, this shadow should move, this one as well. If we want all of those to work together, we could go in and we could create keyframes on each one, but that does get a little tedious and there's a better way to do that. So the best way to do that is to animate global light and to base all of your styles off the global lighting settings. So if I go back inside here, and I'm just going to delete these keyframes right now by clicking the stopwatch, and then go back into my yellow layer styles, and this time I'm gonna check use global light. Now that's gonna change things a little bit because my global light is set at 90 degrees. So I'm gonna change the global light setting to 135, and then I have to go down through each one of these and make sure use global light is checked. Now that that's checked, I'm gonna go into my red and click use global light. And then finally blue, use global light. All right, so now at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and click the stopwatch, and that will enable animation on the yellow square. Then I'm going to go over here to three seconds. I'm going to click this again. I'm going to go into my effects panel and it doesn't matter which one of these you apply this to. I'm going to just change that angle again to 45. Now you can see that that did affect the other two boxes. So the shadows were on the right. Now they're on the left. The problem is that when you actually try to run this animation, nothing happens. And so you're wondering, why is nothing happening? I've changed this setting, why isn't it working? Well, 
there's one thing that you need to show. So if you go to the panel options over here, go down to show, and then choose global light track. This is what makes the difference. So you are enabling the style change on the individual layers, but you're also enabling the overall global lighting change. So with my insertion point at the very beginning of the timeline again, now I'm gonna click the stopwatch to create a keyframe there. I'm gonna go back over to my three second mark and add another keyframe right there. And then let's go into my drop shadow that's at 45, that's good, but most likely my original keyframe was overwritten. So I'm going to go into that, again click on the layer styles, and sure enough it was set to 45, which is our end point, not our beginning point. So I'm going to change it to 135 now. Now as we scrub through this, and as we let this render, you can see that all of our shadows are working perfectly, all in conjunction with each other. So that's essentially what we're doing, except that our layer styles are much more complex and interesting than the ones that I've just used here. So let's go ahead and take a look at this here in our previous example, and I'm just going to isolate the let's layer and turn off all these layer styles so we can see what's here. This effect is loosely based off of some examples found on the Texture Labs channel, and so I would recommend, before you do anything else, get out of this tutorial and go subscribe to Texture Labs, because his stuff is incredible, and that's what this is based off of, just taking it to a little bit of a different level on the animation side of things. But as you can see, it's basically a number of strokes, it's some inner shadows, it's some drop shadows, and we've used some various effects on there to turn the drop shadow into more of an offset outline than an actual shadow, and that's what's repeated behind it over and over again. So if you want to actually figure out how I did this particular style, you can download the tutorial files on my website. You'll get an example of pretty much everything that's included on the screen here, and you can kind of poke around in those layers and see how everything works. So getting back to the actual animation, you can see essentially what we're doing here is the same exact thing. We've got the global light track showing up at the top, and we've created only two keyframes in that track, and then also on our let's get funky layer here so that we can actually animate the style. And we're just moving the global light on one keyframe into the other. What's great about this is that no matter how you're going to actually animate this, you can apply various effects to this to get the look that you're going for. So I've got some concrete textures, I've got some grunge here to kind of wear this away, I've got a little bit more going on there, I've got some lighting, and I've got some overall texture going on there. So I've got a highlight right here, so maybe for this highlight what I'm going to do is animate the position of that. So I'm going to go up to my highlight layer. At the very beginning, I'm going to just choose position. And I'm going to go over to three seconds. And I'm going to just move the position of this over here. Let's just shrink our panel down so we can see everything here. So now it's almost as if we've got this light source that's actually affecting the shadow of the graffiti somehow, which is obviously impossible, but still kind of a neat effect. And when you're ready to use this, then you can just export the video and you're good to go. All right, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you did, please give it a like, maybe consider subscribing to my channel. I don't ever know what I'm going to do. I might be doing music, I might be doing DIY, I might be doing something completely different, or I might be throwing out a tutorial like this, and it's just the luck of the draw. So, if you want to see more of what I do, click subscribe. Otherwise, enjoy YouTube, enjoy the internet, and uh, maybe our paths will cross again some other time. See ya!